How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be debuting the 99 overall Cy Young version of Justin Verlander. Recently MLB The Show tweeted out that they were going to increase the velocity on this card. We'll go ahead and take a look at what they exactly did to him as well as uh, his individual attributes on Daddy Leagues. Now I'm not exactly sure what his individual pitch attributes were before they boosted up his velocity rating to 97. He now throws a four seam fastball at 101 miles per hour and he does have 99 break and control on both his four seamer, his 12 six curve. He's got 96 break and 92 control on the changeup, 93 break, 85 control on the slider and 82 break, 80 control on the two seam fastball. So that should be pretty effective. It should act like a sinker in some way. So we'll go ahead and get right into the video. And we're starting off with a hit by pitch from Willie Mays and a double play from Juan Soto. So probably the worst start to this game. We are playing in the rain. And this might be the worst offensive performance that I've put on in a game of ranked seasons as of lately. I have I haven't played this game in a week, but this video will be focused on how good Justin Verlander is after they buffed up his uh, velocity a little bit. There's a 96 mile per hour two seamer, so still good velocity differential between those two pitches. As now we're throwing the change up 85, that's pretty slow. Now we'll try and hit him with the slider. Good break, good control there, 86 miles per hour. Just really trying to use all of his pitches. Here I'm going with another slider, front door. And we get the 88 mile per hour slider that I missed location. Early feedback could have easily been hit out for a home run. But still a decent pitch. We got the strikeout. And here we're going with the four seam fastball. 100 mile per hour from Justin Verlander right there. And that's really what this card was missing. I mean, they uh, they kind of cheated him on some velocity there. He's always thrown really hard. Uh, he did have a couple years in Detroit where he uh, was lacking in velocity. But... He really didn't pitch that poorly. He just didn't really have a good team around him either. Um, but anyway, Justin Verlander, my favorite pitcher of all time. The last player to win both MVP and the Cy Young Award um, with him and Clayton Kershaw. And those two guys are really my two favorite pitchers in Major League Baseball. So I like using them in Diamond Dynasty. Now, I did pay you know 1 million stubs for this Justin Verlander, even... Uh, even though I, I didn't really think he would be that good, even with the velocity boost. Now, I think that he, he will be good after using him for a couple innings. I I just don't know. I mean, is he worth a million stubs? No, absolutely not. But he's my favorite pitcher, and I'm going to go ahead and spend one million stubs on him regardless because uh, I want to also build a Tigers team. I've been working on building my all-time Tigers team. I still need to get that uh, 99 overall Miguel Cabrera. And I need to get a couple other players to solidify the bench. But for the most part, that team's ready to go. And I'll be making that video fairly soon. I wanted to make um, a special video for Justin Verlander because he is my favorite player. And that was probably the best pitch I've ever thrown in MLB The Show 20 uh, in, the, in that last inning there. Strikes out Ken Griffey Jr. looking. Here we had an opportunity to get a base knock with Verlander. And not a bad swing, honestly. One contact attribute point there and... Uh, didn't get the job done, but we are still, you know, pitching a shutout, bottom of the third inning, throwing a good amount of pitches. He's fouling some pitches off. He's having some good at-bats, and really, I was just swinging at everything in this game. Terrible offensive performance so far, but here, Willie Mace almost throws him out from, from right field there. Not a bad play. Uh, Ty goes to the runner, I guess, from right field in that situation, and luckily, we didn't give up a home run here. Perfect, perfect ground ball through the right side. And that was a three and one count. Felt like I had to challenge him with the fastball there. The fastball has been the most effective pitch uh, because he does have, you know, max out control on that as well as the 12-6 curveball. But I didn't really think the 12-6 was that good this first time using him. Or at least this opponent was able to hit that pitch a couple times for a base knock. You saw him get on the board uh, with this first guy in the inning. Now he, uh, he doesn't capitalize and score any runs, but he did have some guys in scoring position. I went back to the fastball and got out of it, um, but that's really what I'm throwing with Verlander. His fastball has some tail to it. His two-seamer's pretty good. His changeup's not bad. His slider's decent. I threw it for a wild pitch in the previous inning, but I'm really trying to get the 12-6 curveball confidence up because I want to try out all of the pitches when I'm trying to debut a pitcher. 
And if you don't know what I'm talking about when I'm saying that, I'm referring to this uh, light blue circle around each individual pitch. If you notice, the fastball, the slider confidence is almost maxed out. And the more confidence you get on those individual pitches, the quicker you're going to get that yellow gold bar that uh, makes it a lot easier to get good feedback on and a little bit tougher for the opponent to square the ball up and actually get rewarded on a good swing. Now, a lot of those things I just said are just from my personal experience, but it's also, you know, over a lot of years of playing this game. I haven't had as much time to play the game recently, but I'm still trying to figure out, you know, these little things within playing. And in this game in particular, you know, it's on all-star difficulty, really tough to gauge how good a pitcher is on all-star difficulty, but these are some things that I'm looking to do when I'm trying out a brand new guy on the mound, trying out all the pitches, working on getting that confidence up, the goal bar of confidence. There, Verlander almost had an opportunity to get the first run on the board. I just swung at the first pitch, popped it up to right field. But Willie Mays, the other 1 million stub card, coming up clutch with the bases loaded. He intentionally walked a couple players to bring up Verlander, and I would have taken him out if I wasn't using him for this video specifically. And now with the way this one's going, I'm going for the complete game shutout with Verlander. 55 pitches in the fifth inning. I'm hoping he can throw about 100 pitches before going into that yellow stamina range. He still has about two-thirds energy. Now, I don't think he's going to throw 150 pitches, but at the same time, um, I'm looking to at least get into the eighth or ninth inning with him, especially because I just paid 1 million stubs for this card. I sold my Goose Gossage that I recently picked up once his card dropped a little bit with that rewind pack. But anyway, you know, uh, I, I do like the team that I have. I don't mind spending a million on my favorite pitcher, even though he might not be worth it. Uh, I, of course, you know, could have picked up a couple different guys and, you know, maybe several finest players and tried those guys out. But I've pretty much tried out everybody that I've wanted to throughout this year. And, and so far, you know, in this game right here, Verlander's pitching a gem, three hits apiece, two runs for me, just not that much offense. And then for whatever reason, the power went out or something. I don't know. The, the lights went out. Um, the thunder was still booming in the background, but we'll go ahead and hop into an event game because now, you know, I'll, I'll have to uh, pitch a few more games or play a few more games in order to get Verlander back on the mound. He might take the hill again when I do the Tigers team build, but I'm thinking about using the 99 overall Max Scherzer for that game. Um, anyway, though, Manny Machado goes deep. This game was pretty nuts. Uh, this was part of that first event for Cody Bellinger, Jake Arrieta, and Verlander. I uh, played a few more games. This is, you know, five or six games in. Got a couple of wins, and we'll see that event return or at least the rewards for that event returning uh, this following week, I believe. We'll see that in the middle of December, and uh, it could be a week and a half, two weeks from now, but uh, those rewards will be coming back into the game. Or I guess I should say those cumulative rewards will be returning, right? I mean, Justin Verlander's clearly in the game. I just used him in the video, um, but more people will have him after playing more and more of those event games. But here in this one, I mean, it would have been nice if Willie Mays hit a home run in his first opportunity. But this one goes out. Very similar swing. I just thought that was kind of interesting. Uh, this guy got out to an 8-1 to lead. We were able to make it a closer game. But still, you know, kind of uh, not really getting the job done. We gave up another run. It's 9-7, to bottom of the fifth. These were those six-inning games with quick counts on and all that good stuff. Not the best settings, but also not the worst. I, I did like this event. Um, this was the only game that I kind of got into a shootout with the other players or the other opponent. Um, here I thought I tied it up or actually took the lead. I thought this ball was going to be off the wall or over the wall and Mike Trout tracks that one down. I figured, you know, we didn't hit the ball at all really in that first game of ranked seasons. So I would include some highlights where, uh, the opponent hit the ball and, you know, I, I hit it every once in a while, but uh, we ended up losing this one. 12 to 8. What a good game all around. Um, we are going to try and make it interesting though. Ken Griffey Jr. hits one off the wall. I'm trying to prestige a couple of these cards and I obviously didn't get the job done um, in this West event, but hopefully I can work on some more progress for some other players that I'm working on prestiging. 
uh, during the uh, Central and East event. What a way to end that one, though. 12 to 8, like I said, a double play line drive from Willie Mays. He could have had, you know, multiple RBIs in that game. He could have had six RBIs and made that one interesting. But that's Justin Verlander's debut. Willie Mays hit the double in that game of ranked, and he ended up winning on some power outage or some type of glitch. He lost connection. He might have just turned off his PlayStation. I don't know. But hopefully everyone's having a great day and enjoy the rest of your week. Peace out.